Let us now move to the next strategy. Watch out for absolute words, such as the word always and the word never. How would you treat these types of question? Absolute words. It depends upon the situation. For example, if these absolute words, any of always or never, is found in the question, suspect it. Meaning, suspect that the question may possibly, or the statement in the question, may possibly be wrong. Meaning to say, the answer could be the opposite of the state in the question. If it is stated in positive, it could be negative. If it is stated in neg negative, then it could be that the answer is positive. So you simply suspect. But if these absolute words are found in the choices, if it is a choice, then our treatment of it uh, is wrong. Okay? So again, to simplify, if found in the question, suspect it. Meaning, the possible answer could be the opposite of the statement in the question. But if it is found in the choice, it should be considered as wrong. Okay. You have to take note also that sometimes the word all, especially found in a choice, may partake the nature of always. How would you be able to tell that it partakes the nature of always? If you can replace the word all with the word always and it does not distort the meaning. Meaning to say, the word all there is considered as absolute word. So, if it is found again in the choice, it is considered as wrong. But of course, you do not consider all of the above as outrightly a wrong choice. It cannot be of the same meaning where the word always. So let us consider the example of absolute words or questions containing absolute words. Can a strong acid burn completely and never to recur fingerprints? So this one is absolute word found in the choice, automatic that is wrong. In fact, we will uh, discuss this later. This, it depends, as we have discussed in previous slides, is also wrong because it is non-committal choice. Something which is non-committal is neutral. Whether it is uh, positive or negative, it does not give any idea where it is siding. So it has no place in a multiple choice question. So actually, our answer to this is no. This will be taken up in more detail in our discussion in fingerprints.